What's up, Hawks fans? Justin Tatum here, all the way from St. Louis, Missouri, out here in Wollongong. Man, look at this beautiful place. Excited about what's going on next season, and I'm here. What's up, all the world Hawks? How we doing, man? Justin Tatum just made it down to Australia. How you guys doing? Let me get a layup. Let me get a layup. How about that? Justin Tatum is a, a, a father of three, first of all. Uh, I've been a high school coach for the last 16 years. Um, I won multiple state championships. I'm, I'm the son of Rosemary Johnson, the son of James Tatum. Uh, very simple guy. You know, uh, I've worked hard. I've, uh, I've, worn, I've found a way unintentionally bring positivity to my name because my son is now successfully in the NBA. But I me, mean, I'm just a humble guy. You know, what I mean, I'm, 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 I'm blessed to be out here to have this opportunity to have, you know, sit in front of the Hawks fans and have this interview. So uh, I'm just a normal human being that's just under a lot of a positive attention. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, Kyrie Irving don't play for the Celtics no more, right? Oh, uh, right. That's uh, where he started from. All right, that's where he started from. What's your name? Uh, Nick. Nick, I'm Justin Tatum. I'm Justin J Tatum. Yeah, I'm Jason's dad, one of the uh, Jason Tatum's dad with the Celtics. No, are you joking? Yeah, I am. I wish you would have had the other jersey. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's all good, man. <laughs> nice to meet you, brother. Last October, I uh, sat with the owner, and he was letting me know what, you know, he just invested to the Hawks a couple years prior. And you know, he called and let me know that he so he wanted me to be a, just an extra eye, extra extra voice to see if I can come down and give some expertise, some understanding to his program to see how I can help elevate it on not just on the court but outside as well. Um, I think it's the growth of my players and just to see them come back ten years later and say how much I impacted their lives. Uh, and I think that just keeps giving me the fuel to keep going um, and never stop coaching because God let me know what my my journey on this earth is and it's to is to give back to the youth and help young men and women uh, with, the, with my advice and my expertise that I've went through and to teach them through the, uh, through the game of coaching. And you know, life lessons comes with that and I've always get calls back or players returning to let me know how thankful they are how I've been in their life. So uh, coaching has been a big part of my life. Don't come up until you shoot the ball, Juan. Don't come up until you shoot the ball. Good, don't come up until you, now get up, good. Red, tight hands, red. Lock it down. Shop. Slow your legs, soft touch. And all you guys worrying about the wind right now. And you're pushing, shooting hard with your arms. Push, jump as high as you can, shoot soft. Come on, make shots, fellas. Make shots. Make shots. Step to it. Do it. Jump as high as you can. That's one for us. Two. Yeah. Why do you talk to him? Why do you talk to him? View, the view over here with all these boats and all this beautiful salt water and seagulls. This is, uh, I'm not in St. Louis anymore. <laughs> this is uh, not, this is a great spot. This is a great view. Besides the beautiful country, besides, you know, all the great attributes about it, uh, I believe that since the Hawks is one of the longest tenured programs out here in Australia, I will definitely come out here, um, you know. This is, uh, this is a great way to you know, uplift your career if you're going to be an inspiring player.